Lucky Cat Slucky kill here with Hand of Fate. I don't know too much about ah, this game. One more for the game. Come, Sid. You have passed the 13 gates. And you come to my table to play the game of life and death. Your stake is wagered. I refuse none who come here. Yet, I say, turn back. I do know it involves cards, and I believe it's completely random okay. every time. Begins. One lives and one dies. Let us see what you are made of. Here is the first member of my court, the Jack of Dust. Twelve in all must fall before you may challenge me. The bandit leader is stronger and faster than most bandits encountered. He can become enraged, making powerful, unblockable attacks. He also inspires his followers to steal gold on each hit. Let the cards fall where they may. We begin. The Maiden? One day, in a shady forest, you encounter an elf maiden. She stops to greet you. I am Merith of the forest folk. Many people have long helped the mortals of this realm. What boon would you ask of me? I would like some supplies, please. The spread will sustain you for many days. The dealer draws you two food game cards. I'm sure you are grateful for that. I am. Remember, mortal. That bold heroes make for great ballads, but survivors think twice before meddling in the affairs of gods and monsters. Twisted Canyon. That first moment. That glinting weapon. The call to action, to adventure. Truly, there is nothing like it. You see a weapon glinting in the sunlight, laying next to a skeleton at the bottom of a canyon. I'm gonna retrieve it or leave it. The walls of the canyon are covered in thick vines, perfect for climbing. Sure. Choose from these options. Yes! <laughs> Very carefully, you make your way down, way to the bottom of the canyon. You retrieve one weapon from the ancient court. Ooh, press the left mouse button to strike enemies. Um, damage 20. And right now I have a rusty axe, which does 23 damage. 20 damage. So, yes, I will make the to sword. Save her. That will make you much more effective. I was never a fan of illusion or pretense. Here, I'll make an exception. Whilst enjoying your evening meal at the local tavern, a strange old man takes the seat next to yours. He taps your shoulder quite painfully with his wooden staff to get your attention, and you notice that he appears to be a goblin, poorly disguised as a human. His Wizened face grins at you with a hint of madness. My name is Mr. Lionel. If you give me what I need, boy, I will conjure up your heart's desire with this witcher wizarding wand of my own creation. 
He cackles uncontrollably for a few moments, then sits patiently waiting for an answer. What do you need? Need? I need to help you. Mr. Lionel taps his staff on the ground, and a shield materializes at your feet. There you go, old bean. He smiles a warm grin that reveals all his chipped and yellowed teeth. Your face reminds me of my son. I haven't met you before, have I? Shields with this trait now allow the hero to reflect projectiles back at the attacker. This must be performed with precise timing as the projectiles draw near. Press the QB key to reflect projectiles. Look for the green indicator above the hero's head. Weapons with this trait allow the hero to counter. You can now reflect your opponent's ranged attacks using your shield. Make good use of this skill if you wish to survive. Then, before you can stop him with inhuman speed, he snatches a pickled onion off your plate and strips, sprints out the tavern door. Bound once more, seeking the heart of it all. You have discovered the exit to this area. You embark on the next leg of your adventure. The journey is well begun. This is what I was looking for. You show some aptitude for the game. Perhaps this will not be as boring as I thought. Suddenly, a tree falls across your path, blocking the way ahead. The dealer draws you one monster card. The weapon, weapons bristle from trees around you, their wielders' faces obscured by a wider growth. Give us all your gold, or die. Attack the cowardly band for bearing to threaten you, for daring to threaten you. You shout a battle cry and raise your weapon. The battle begins. You can now counter your opponent's attacks. Hit the counter button when you see the flashing indicator. What is the attack? Dodge roll. And counter is B. Okay. You search the bodies for loot. The dealer draws you three game cards. The most fundamental symbol of might for an age. No, really? I have a sword. Is that what you're going to do? I have a sword. What did you think would happen with a card called Ambush, eh? A slight rustling behind you is all the warning you get that your life is in grave danger. Draw one monster card. <clears throat> the last one was two cards. Card two, right?
Easy peasy lemon squeezy. While searching the area for anything worth salvaging, you realize that one of your opponents is pretending to be dead. Sneak up and kill him. Oh. The dealer draws you three game cards. A quick weapon blow to the head fixes that. You finish searching the area. A peasant's Ooh. weapon, but effective nonetheless. That does more damage. Ooh, a traveling mage! Initiate a grove off the beaten trail. You find a traveling merchant looking to trade with wandering adventurers. Mages sell only specific items that they've discovered in faraway lands. Their prices can be high, but they also pay well for anything that catches their interest. Well, approaching. Greetings, wise traveler. I have much to offer you. If you were wondering why you've been collecting all that gold, you now have your answer. We're starting to get into the meat of the game now. The back and forth between resources and rewards. Burn Sandlers. Lizard Man take double damage. Press 2 to attack faster with each successful strike. The longer your combo, the more explosive the reaction. When you draw supplies, instead draw 2 and pick 1. While all dragon relics are equipped, receive plus 50% max health and full healing after every combat. That sounds good, but I'm not. But I don't know if I'll ever get any. dragon stuff. So I'll just buy some food from you. Ah, uh, one more. Actually, let's make that an even 30 food. I'm sure you are grateful for that. I am. Also, one of the two swords I have. And I'll keep everything else. I'm done here. You have reached my first champion. A good man, driven to madness by a war that took all from him. Wife and child, kith and kin. From such dark and brittle iron I forge my tools. Now we see your metal. This token will unlock more cards if you can defeat this encounter. I'm ready. Some enemy attacks cannot be blocked or countered. Get out of the way or stop them with your own counter attack.
XP left! Oh god! Oh Jesus! Down into the worms with him. Perhaps there is peace for him in the grave, poor soul. One champion has been sent to the cabinet. Yet we are only at the start of our road. You will face 11 more opponents who will test your strength, your memories, and your resolve. Few fall at the first hurdle. None reach the last. We have wagered, and you have won. You may claim your rewards, yet I will also claim mine. As you improve, so do I. Balance must be retained. Shall we deal again? Uh, not now. One game was good enough. Oh, so I can play with a Xbox controller if I wanted to. Well, that was one round of Hand of Fate. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> Can't wait to play more. One new item has been added to my Steam inventory. Cool. Great. Fantastic. So that was shorter than what I normally do, but I think one round of a card game is good enough. So, I will see you in the next episode. Stay lucky!